This is going to be a little bit smoother in the intermission. Like, um, but it's just because I'm doing all three right in a row with no break. All right, let me just make sure everything's set up ready. I think we should be good to go. I just need to do a couple of quick things on my end. But bear with me for one split second. Get my strats up and I need to get my splits up. Okay. All right, we are good to go, guys. Let's do Tekken 3. I'm going to I'm going to warn you guys. I have not done any arcade runs of Tekken 3 in a long time. I've I wanted to practice, but um I haven't had the uh the, the chance to be honest. Uh, do you want me to fix this screen bleed? Give me one split second, guys. Since since we're already a little overestimate, we might as well just uh fix this. Give me one moment. The screen's gonna go black for a second, but I'm just able to stay with me a moment. Because thankfully Tekken 3 doesn't have the same issue my TV but uh, Tekken we do. The screen should look a little bit nice. Uh if all goes according to plan. Oh it doesn't show at all, hold on. Let me refresh the uh the source. Yo, what up, Marlon? You joined right in the nick of time. Uh, okay, it's not showing at all. One second. This can be fixed. My capture card's a little bit finicky. There we go, that should be working now. There it is, beautiful. Tekken 3. Alright, are we ready, guys? I am ready. Uh, the screen should look a little bit nicer now. Alright. Let's do this. I have not done a run of this in a long time. Change the estimate. Ah, good call. Good call. Good shout. Okay. Yeah, the estimate for this is going to be 105. I'm going to do my absolute best to match that. Let's see what happens. Alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Oh, I have not done this in so long. Oh, timer. Timer? No? Hold on. Why is my timer going? Hold on. There we go. Okay, it's going now. All right. Now we're going. I'm a tiny bit behind. We are a tiny bit behind schedule. That is entirely my fault. I take the blame for that. All right, Tekken 3, guys. Well, I technically didn't start, so it doesn't count as a reset. Oh, you... I was worried that I wasn't going to remember, but you never forget with a game like this. It's too good. You can never forget the strats for a game like this. This game is too classic. Of course, so, uh, as you can see, this game looks way smoother. The, the gameplay physics have the classic Tekken feel that all other Tekken games do after this game. Ah, oh, you, you never forget a sign like this. The music's, music's gorgeous. Graphics are gorgeous. Everything is just gorgeous. What's some of the game? Is the game audio weird? What's wrong with the game audio? The audio should be okay. Um. Rolling Death Predator. Oh, fine. I'll try my best. But no promises. Xiao Yu. Forgot how annoying Xiao Yu can be. Jesus, Joe, you're gonna perfect me. This is you trying to tell me to do a rolling death crate. Audio's fine, okay, good. I'm gonna blame that one on Hoodie trying to make me do a rolling death cradle. Oh, come on, that should have been it. No, I'm sorry, I can't. Not on Joe, you. It's not happening on Joe, you. Ah. 
Okay, good. That was all a natural combo. I might be able to on Eddie. No, okay. Sorry, Eddie, it's not how I'm not getting a rocking death cradle. It's not happening. I'll do a giant swing for you, though. There you go. There you go. I hope you're happy now, Hoodie. I lost a lot of time because of that. So in this game, the, uh, there are no sub-bosses in this game. You fight Heihachi, then you fight Ogre, and then you fight Chiroga. The characters you unlock are always the same, are always in the same order. You unlock, uh, uh, is it Julia first? No, it's, uh, I can't remember the first character you unlock, actually. But you unlock a character first, and then you unlock another character. And it's always the same order. It does not depend on the uh, on the uh, first fighters you face. All right, this is the final boss, Truoga. That's the final boss, Truoga. <laughs> That's a little shout back to uh, ESA last year. Truoga is a big character, which means you can do big strats on him. It's pretty fun. Uh, Gunjack and uh, Kuma are also big characters in this game. This is Eddie. Eddie's got a lot of nice dancing moves. He, uh, we stun them with the big mid kick and then we go straight into the unblockable. We try to do it as quickly as possible so that while they're still recovering from the hit animation from the, uh, from the three kick, the unblockable hits him. But if not, we just do a cheeky jab as a backup. It was Ogre pretty quickly. I wish you could have emotes because we'd have we could have run Ogre and run truly Ogre right now. But I guess I'm gonna have to look into that after my run. There's not much I can do about that, unfortunately. Oh my god, he's doing my strats. Nice. We have a few backup strats of Eddie. This has been so long, it's kind of tricky to remember everything. I can't remember the last time I did an all endings run. I don't, th I don't think I've done one this year. If that gives you an indicator of how long it's been. But some things you just never forget. I could probably play this. could probably take a 50 year break from this game. Come back to when I'm 70 and know most of the strats off by heart at this point. Oh jeez. Being said, Lei is proving to be a pain right now. It's a bit awkward. Nice, good boot. Although you can use your backup strats and uh, and all that. Like what? What? what, what? Oh, sorry, no. Let me let me three is that. Although you do have your main strats, which you use are uh, like quite consistent that you use at the start of the run, like a flow chart. You still have all your like super good backup strats, which you need. So you need, you need a lot of good fundamentals to play this game, especially since we're on medium difficulty. I prefer playing on medium for this game. It's because, uh... Good clutch. Just because it, um... The AI is a lot more aggressive. Beautiful. That was a big strat I did there. The, uh, the sidestep spinny string kick thing I did. It's way more likely to hit big characters. Oh jeez. I'm also doing something called a Korean backdash right there. That gives me a lot of space. Um, when I want to like make the opponent whiff punish. Yeah, I just died there. Okay, good luck. Final round. Ah. Very nice. Good good hit there. 
That was a very nice hit. All right, here's Ogre again. We'll try and go for big strats. Oh, that'll do. That was a little bit of a slow uh, Eddie, but that's just the way it goes sometimes. Right, Julie can be quite an annoying character uh, to play with. Um, she has a good unblockable strats in the first few stages, but then you need to adapt and do a lot of like Okazemi strats. Okazemi strats are when um, Okazemi is based off of um, I, I think it's Japanese. It's Okazume is the correct pronunci pronunciation. Um, I think it's. I don't remember what it's uh, what it means, but the another way of describing it is, is as wake up game. So it's based on when the opponent is on the floor and you're trying to predict what way they will get off of the floor. Which is kind of tricky to do against the AI especially. Um, but you can use certain techniques that means if they get up off the floor in a certain way and you're guaranteed to hit them with a move is basically what it's, uh, what it's known for. In the later stages of this game, from stages 8 and onwards, the AI um, will almost always tech roll when they're on the floor, if they can. There are some moves you can do which put, their, which put the AI on the floor, that means that they can't tech roll. But if they can tech roll, they usually will on the later stages. Well, fortunately, that's something I can't quite do. Julia does have a big strap. AI can stay on the floor there. And something unique about this game, um, it's also kind of a case in other games, but it's like very more straightforward in this game. Is that um, a lot of moves hit big characters on the floor because of their big hitbox, like unblockables. Please, okay. Gonna do a mad axe there and go straight and unblockable. Nah, no, okay. Oh, I tried to do Tekken 2 strats there. Damn! Okay, that's fine. I was bound to get hit or something happened there. Should have gone to unblockable. I, I, there's a chance that I will tech on stages 6 and 7, but it's like not consistent. It's harder to predict. Okay, there we go. Hopefully it'll be a little bit easier to predict now. Damn. Okay, good, broke out of it. Damn, no tech. Again, no tech. Again, jeez. Okay, good. Just had to do a running attack there. This is not an amazing Julia either. I'm a fair bit behind right now. Uh, if I was running against my PD. Please, but you almost always tech there. I don't know why it's not happening. Oh, that's not what I meant to do, but sure. Oh my god. Touch that one out. Jeez. Okay. Please? Again. Jeez. They, they, I don't know. I, it's based on when you time me unblockable. Nice. I was suspecting to knock tech there. Uh, yeah. That's another way of describing it, I guess. Now he techs. And yeah, there you go. Good ending at the very least. Well, our next character is Gunjack. This is one of the... Uh, only characters we do twice in a row. In fact, it's the only character we do twice in a row, aside from Eddie, actually. The reason why we do Gunjack twice in a row is because we need to unlock his full ending. 
Oh, jeez. Always got a bit of deja vu there. I fought against King on the first stage with Gunjack on ESA, and King actually got beat me. But yeah, we just do a jab, and then we uh, Hassan shot them. Which is pretty nice. Not a greeting is the official name of that move, but we like to call it Jack Chop. I do have an emote for them, fortunately my emotes aren't loaded at the moment. Nice debugger uh, back up there. Just quick reactions by me. Alright, now we go to other strats. So I like to do this 1 plus 2 move because the AI can't take go after it, they just have to stay on the floor and you can just splat them with the fly move. Which is really nice. Uh, Spike's talking about TAS speeds here. Specifically. But Jack is also an insanely fast character in RTA as well. Spike is actually a Tekken Tasser as well. He's, he's our resident Tekken Tasser. But when is he going to do an all endings Tekken 3 Tass? That's the question. Yeah, Gunjack is going very well right now. This is a really good gun, Jack. Should be sub minute for sure. In game time, I'm talking about, of course. I'm gonna go for a quick, uh, a big text right hit. Uh, I would just go for backup. Unfortunately, that's never gonna happen. Well, no, in Tekken 7, she's pretty bay. I can't even lie about that. Alright, we're using Gunjack again. Again, to get his full ending. He's the only character in the game who, who... Only character in any Tekken game who you have to beat twice in order to get his full ending. A very oddly specific thing with Gunjack. Okay, nice. Going fairly well so far. We're gonna. Uh, I'll try for the big strat on Kuma. It depends if he will tech roll or not. Big characters are way more like tech roll, but nah, it didn't happen there. Big characters are also less likely to um, get hit by your early strats for whatever reason. They're just typically more aggressive in general. Why am I doing this? That's not the right strat. This is the right strat. Get hammered. There you go. Thank you. Beautiful. Eight seven. Mokujin. It's actually going to be the next character we use. We use Mokujin early because uh, Mokujin, of course, is an RNG character. Whose moveset is based off of a random character which changes every round. So, with Mokujin, we like to use him as early as possible, not just because, like, in a run, it's, you know, he's an inconsistent character, so we like doing him at the start of as early as possible in runs, but also because because we haven't locked every character, there's less characters for him to manipulate. Yeah, exactly. Well, it's hard to find the optimal strat for something like that because he does. Nikujaya, of course, does not have a one-hit KO strat. There we go. That still is an FFC follow. You. St I don't know why that isn't working. I'll after this run. If you if you can't figure it out by the end of this run, I'll look it up while the next one's going on. I believe he's in justice after this run. Oh god. Damn, wow, he just booted the hell out of me. I think there's still a chance of Mokujin to get in. I'd be surprised if he doesn't.
Yeah, in terms of our move damage, yeah. And damage output is not great. But, Joey's actually just have a very good strat in terms of RTA. Very consistent. There's a big strat. I was in the first two artists, my bad. Okay, nice. Yeah, Xenoverse 2 race, which is going to be very hype. Alright, time for Mokujin. So I need to fight. I need to figure out, based on Mokujin's stance, which character he's using. That is lore. You also get a preview of some future strats here. That is Kuma. She was probably the worst character to get with... Uh, with Mokujin, simply because his a lot of his strats don't actually work, believe it or not. Oh, you're doing it solo, really? I thought I, I thought he said he was going to join. I thought Daniel said he was. Uh, what Daniel said he was going to compete. I was I talked to him, and he said that he was uh, he was going to do it. This is late. I guess he's not here right now. I mean, I don't know. Uh, I mean, when did you last talk to him about it? This is Jim, by the way. An hour ago, really? I talked to him and he said he... he I talked to him a couple of days ago and he said he was going to drop out, but I convinced him not to. Ugh. Well, I guess we're just going to do it solo then. Are you going to be okay to commentate on your own? Uh, Vegeta. Or do you have a commentator? Yeah, that... Now I go, geez, wow. That's... God. Well, I guess those things happen. You can go, okay, great. All right, that's good to hit. There we go. Megaton fist there. That's Yoshimitsu. Yoshimitsu is a really good character as well. Although Xiaoyu is a small character, which means we have to do a slightly different strat. And of course, Xiaoyu sidestepped. There we go. Alright, Jin again. Jeez, Heihachi is really sidestepping right now. Good, there's, there's an unblockable Okazemi and bam, running three. That was a, there were a couple of nice tech traps both in a row there. Because I actually got Jin twice in a row, well, I could just supercharge. That barely ever happens. Because I got uh, Jin twice in a row, it actually decreased the loading time speeds. Because it didn't need to load um, a new moveset for Mokujin. And again, good RNG. And there's another big strap. Alright, our next character is Anna. Anna is very much like in Tekken 2, just a very... Uh, generic character in terms of her moves. She's a little bit better in this game. She has a little bit of move variety. Um, but you still rely a lot on uh, on this move. Well, I would have been even lucky if I had gotten Paul on every uh, on every instance of Mokujin. But unfortunately, that didn't happen. I didn't even get one more, uh, Paul, actually. Because Paul is the fastest character in this game by a country mile. Okay, so yeah, we're just going to go to this strat. It's a nice backup. Damn, he blocked a low. I didn't think he would. But he did. Absolute man, man. Ugh. Oh. 
There we go. There's a nice little juggle. So no quality, really, no quality options still. Jeez, that's actually very surprising. That is really surprising to me, actually. Bit weird. Very nice. Final round. Well, I meant RTA. I'm talking about RTA, Spike. Of course, your your task is a totally different universe to me. Final round. Auto or source. Oh my god. I don't want to screw you, Ogre. Get out of there. Alright, time for Nina. Nina's the next character to use. Nina has uh, a few cool things. Nina has a slap strat. Nina has some also very fast strats, which I'm going to try and do. But it's uh, dependent on quite a few things. King doesn't want to play though, so I'm just going to go for Tenet here. Tenet is the uh, consistent thing, but uh, it can be quite slow at times. This is the fastest, but um, it depends whether they, if they back roll, then obviously it doesn't work. Wow, really? That whiffed? Nina's, uh, Nina's slap strat is another technique which she has that sets up to be unblockable. Which I can try and do, and hopefully, but if they if they forward roll and then get up kick, then obviously you you can't get it. Nice one. So we use that as a backup. There's it. There's a slap strike right there. Pack the Twitch Prime. Nice. Final round. Fight. Uh, thankfully, we're getting some good RNG on the slap strats now. We didn't at first, but we're getting some good RNG now. This does work on every stage, aside from Ogre, because Ogre's legs are extremely big. There's a couple of characters that the slap strat doesn't work on, but it's very few. What on earth is even going on? There we go. It usually works on Kuma just because Kuma's hitbox is so big, but his legs are stubby, so a get up kick's usually whiff with Kuma. I knew he was going to grab me. I darked, but then I stopped ducking, and then he grabbed me. So, I was right, but I just was wrong with my timing. Oh god. Are we gonna do this? Nice, good count hit. That was good timing. Moving <laughs> to beam, Jesus. It's honestly not a bad idea, but of course we wouldn't attract a lot of users. Oh wow, forget what I said, but snap strat does work on, uh, <laughs> on Ogre. It's very inconsistent. Oh, I tried going for the classic tech strat, but Nice. Ogre's hitbox is so big, anything will hit him, really. Alright, time for martial law. Law is all about the flippy strats. Basic idea is that um, after, the, after our little juggle that we do, we need to get him uh, a certain distance away from us so that they don't back roll 
They try to get up kick us like Blade did just there, but the get up kick whiffs. And depending on whether the um, double flip move I do is a counter hit or a regular hit, I uh, need to like position myself. Wow, Yoshimitsu. Standing up and going for the freaking Roo kick. Wow. That was like the only move that Yoshimitsu had that crushes mids. That's amazing. We also have a backup strat, as you can see here. Pretty nice. And if, if only the second flip hits, then we have another backup strat, as you can see. Yeah, that was a classic Yoshimitsu moment right there. For sure. Very nice. Wow, look at him fly. That hit him out of midair. That was great. I like when I like when random stuff like that happens and the camera just like completely changes direction. It's great. She's gonna go for a grab straight here. On on a couple of stages. Oh my god. On a couple of stages I actually go for grab strat simply because um Bam, there we go. Simply because um, they can't tech roll. It's not 100% consistent, but uh, I use it against Heihachi specifically. But, no, uh, it can work. It doesn't always work, but. That wasn't quite what I was aiming for, but it worked. Crap of a rapper. I don't think that's a fighting game. Last time I checked. I might have forgotten my definition of a fine game, but I'm not 100% sure Parap of a Rapper fits it. Unfortunately. Let's just do a juggle. That'll do. <laughs> not, no, my god. No comment there. Oh, come on. Please? There we go. Alright, that's Law done. Our next character is Jin. Jin is basically the halfway point of the run. In terms of uh, where we're at. Jin is a very combo oriented character. The wolf punch you can kick. I mean, you're not wrong, but I mean, a lot of things of kicking and punching. Like, uh, I don't know, RPGs. Or beat em ups. You don't see us allowing, um. Allowing, like. What? Trying to finger sign. I mean, to be fair, we would allow a lot of, um. Fine games. But, I mean, a lot of, like, beat em ups. We wouldn't allow something like Devil May Cry because that's like swords. We would allow something like um, Final Fight or Fatal Fury. I think Fatal Fury. Yeah, Fatal Fury is right. Oh wait, that's not the strat, is it? Here's the strat. Nice big strat. Nice bit of wave dashing I did there. Still got the moves. And of course, Jin does have the electric wing golf fist, which is a just frame version of a wing golf fist I was using with Kazuya in uh, Tekken 1 and 2. Jin has the frame perfect version, which has some really amazing properties and make Jin one of the best characters in the game. We're gonna go for an unblockable strat, uh, uh, a big strat here as well. If I get it, even. Oh, I can just do that, and it works. Sometimes you just get a gut instinct for those kinds of things. No, it was a big tag that would work.
Damn. Oh jeez, okay, I might die here. Oh, ah, I, I ducked. Oh, I ducked. He got me. I don't think dig duck it really counts as a fight. Just because punching people that doesn't doesn't count as a fighting game. Fighting game is very specific things like you know. That's. I can't I can't argue right now. I'm in the middle of the speed run. Very nice, good, perfect. Jesus Christ, Uncle. You're being really awkward. <laughs> like, like our last family dinner. Beautiful. Good gin. A little slow, a little inconsistent. I did die, but it was alright. Alright, Brian is our next character, the kickboxer Brian. With Brian, we just do a ton of like, ton of just kick moves, a lot of strings that usually all hit the AI. Usually. Sometimes they don't. And then we have that unblockable. The unblockable, like, slightly reduces Brian's hitbox, which means it can, like, some of their opponent's moves can whiff. Like, jabs will often whiff against this unblockable. As you can see there, that, that big downfall of three move that Paul did whiffed. So it's a pretty good unblockable one, it's very fast as well. And then you have a follow up if the unblockable doesn't kill. Bam! Get out of Flamingo Stance, that's not happening. Are you please? Oh, my God. there you go. Just get there. You go. Get out of there. Final round. Really? What was that? Bam! And of course, my mark breaker is a really good round ender move. Brian does have a big strat, which I'm going to go for. Uh, hold on. I can get it. His unblockable just hit them on the ground. Oh, jeez. See if I can get this. Ah, oh, I didn't get the juggle. It's a very specific timing of, a, of that juggle. I should probably just uh, kill him. There we go. That'll do. Final round. Ah. Try to break it by pressing the wrong button. Should have pressed two. I think I think that was a two grab anyway. Oh my god, that juggle. That does work as a text trap, but it's a little inconsistent. There we go. Yo, thank you, man. There's an unblockable strat for you. Beautiful. Beautifully executed. Right, our next character is Kuma. Kuma is a very fun character to use. Uh, well, you wouldn't actually know. I can kind of try a stream. In this game, he's not amazingly fun. But he has some good strats. Which result, which revolve around both his unblockable and uh, a salmon hunter move that we like to use. Which is this big move here. And we got some dances as well. Beautiful. Beautiful stuff. Final round. 
Yeah, I apologize. We're going to be a tiny bit behind schedule. Like, what time? We're like 15 minutes behind schedule. That is... I take full responsibility for that. Just, it was just technical issues I had. You are not chain grabbing me. That's not happening, King. It is an old costume. Um, but thankfully, Kuma and Panda share the same ending. I do know the bear's backstory. Kuma uh, is a pet owned by Heihachi and trained with Heihachi and is also very intelligent though does speak English. Well, understands English. Um, and Panda is Zhou pet. And Kuma loves Panda, but Panda does not love Kuma back. Hilarious hijinks in shoe. Very nice. Ah, oh, that was a tech strap, but he didn't tech roll. Oh geez. Nice. There's a text trap for you. And that goes straight into his uh, Salmon Hunter low low move. That Salmon Hunter move just does so much damage. I wonder. <laughs> oh, I had to try it. There you go, guys. All right, our next character is Lay on the floor, Wulon. There's the next character we will be using. Base traps are entirely based off of kicks, as you can see here. Pretty great. Lay is a, is a consistent character in the early game, and the later game is a little bit less consistent. But here, his, his kicks just so much damage. Ha, ha, ha. Pretty much just lay him in that shell. Oh my goodness. Do that little string. There you go. And follow him. Oh jeez. Okay. You wanna you wanna grab me, eh? Alright. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'm not gonna grab her back actually. But take too much time. Whoa. Okay. Sometimes Tekken rounds are just go really crazy and all over the place. Especially in Tekken 3. Just really crazy stuff can happen. Oh god, oh dear. Wow, okay. That was a nice back grab he just did. You're not grabbing me again. He tried to grab me again, but Razor Rush beat him out. Oh my god. Okay, nice. That was a good kick. Oh god, okay, okay. Glad we can do this. Oh, I don't know. What? How did that do that much damage? Jesus. 
Jodel's dating sim, what? What are you talking about? I mean, I do fist people in it, but that's the only, that's the only extent in terms of dating sim that I really can see. Maybe a bit of dancing occasionally. That's pretty much about it. Alright, back to the lane. We're long done. Time for Huorang is our next character. There is a lot of grabbing too, yeah. Alright, Huorang's got a really cool unblockable strat. On the early stages, if I can get it. Uh, oh wait, hold on. There you go. Oh, Nina just does not want this. Okay, get out of here. Let's try on Xiao Yu. Xiao Yu might go and our Phoenix is signed down, but there you go. That's the strat right there. Only works in the first three stages consistently, but it is really, really good strat. There you go, get out of here. Warang. The official, the official way of saying it is Huarang. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Very nice. I mean, to be fair, PS1 graphics. It's, you know. People like Tomb Raider. If people like Lara Croft PS1 graphics, then I, don't, I think Nina's probably a bit better than that. Oh my goodness. That was really close. That actually scared me a little bit. Oh, he didn't take one. If you big characters as a tech strap, how that unblockable can work, which saves a little, like, a second. Oh god. Thankfully, Horn is uh, fairly consistent in terms of his, his strats. While rising 4 4 strat, I do at the start, the two dual kicks. Uh, basically allows me to uh it basically puts them like in crouching guard stance and then you do a mid afterwards which almost always hits because of the fact that they're in crouching guard and you do those two kicks and then this unblockable tracks so even if they take roll it'll hit them oh i just have a big strong i try and go for nice got it lost a little bit of time in warring but we're all right time for true ogre Drogo is another very fun character. We use True, True Ogre and Ogre share the same ending, thankfully, which is quite nice. Um, we use True Ogre because his hitbox is a little bit bigger and he has a few more moves. Which means he has a few more strats to beat people with. Oh, I barely missed that. Yeah, you're not stomping on me. There you go. Yeah, this is just an insanely good strat. But down forward two moves that I do with the start stuns him. And then I do the big unblockable, which they just almost always get hit by. There's a ton of damage. He does breathe fire, yeah. We don't usually use that strat, but... I thought this... I was going to say that strat doesn't work on lore, but then the game corrected me and proved that nothing is ever 100% true. So, I mean, you know... Whoa, that's a controversial opinion, Kev. Very controversial opinion. I'm gonna go for a backup strat here. Uh, I'm gonna... What strat am I gonna go for? I'm gonna go for this strat. Oh, okay, whipped. Alright, I'm gonna go to do this. Oh, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna do this. Nuke. Oh my god, please. Oh, 
Okay, Zhao Yu just destroyed me. Great. The, the god of fighting's ultimate form destroyed by a, a 16 year, 18 year old schoolgirl. Jesus. And yeah, even if that even if that block even if that uppercut counter hits, you can still do the unblockable straight after, which is really nice. God, don't don't drop kick me, what are you trying to do? Get out of here. There we go. Ryoga's going fairly well. She's, I think she's actually 16 in this game. I'm fairly sure. She's definitely not 12. I'm going to go this strap. It's a little bit more consistent. Okay, good. Go for this strat instead on Kuroga. I will. Nice. Thankfully, Kuroga is so big, the unlockable almost always hits. Alright, our next character is going to be. Uh, going to be Heihachi Mishima. Whoop, that's not the right character. Just start and select. I only lost like two seconds. Show you, uh, sorry, I'll show you. Hey, Hachi is an ex great. Hey, Hachi is an insanely powerful character. His, un his unblockable uh, tracks as well. It's, it's just insanely good. That's not what I meant to do. My bad. I was just doing that without even thinking. Also, his unblockable is an automatic reversal, which is really nice. Damn, he sidestepped it. I'm just gonna do this. Nice. Okay. Please get hit by this damn one. There you go. Nice. Even if they sidestep, they'll still get hit by it. Right now we're gonna go to other strats. Damn, no tech. They usually almost always tech after that. I'll do the old fashioned strat. Oh, messed up. Alright, we'll just do that. I thought I have a kill. Okay. This is a bit of a slow hey actually. I should be going a little bit faster than this. There we go, that's that's for Strat right there. In death listed. And then well, from stage eight onwards you can just do two wing god fists. Insanely fast. It's not different to that Vegeta. Okay. Whoop. Jeez. Oh my god, okay. Jesus. It's not getting to that, eh, Vegeta? God, okay. Alright, and against Truogo, you can just do one with Godfist and make it Australian unblockable. Pretty OP. Alright, our next cut. We're getting close to the end now. Next character is going to be Zhao Yu. And Zhao Yu is an insanely good character. Because 
Basically, the first kick I do means that um, the way they, they, they have to get up by either standing straight up or doing a get up kick. But I, I think they can back roll, but they never back roll. If you time the second kick right, they always get up into the kick. And then you can just do a death combo on their back. Of course, I do have to time it right. Next, Speedy Fist. Um, we're going to be having a Speedy Fist League, which I'll let um, Miguel announce when he wants to. Um, but the next marathon we're gonna have probably in. The, uh, we're gonna have probably have one like two. We're gonna have probably like two a year. Well, the marathon is actually still going on tomorrow. It's a two-day marathon. But yeah, the next one will be in a cut in uh in two uh probably like october-ish or november most likely is where we'll have it i imagine so anyway and then we'll could it keep doing two a year yeah, as you can see this this is an insanely good strat ah, messed up the juggle and Jayu does have good backup strats as well. I think it's actually called the Fighting Speedrunning Series. Uh, that's Miguel's name. Also, the back call for this is actually a 56-52, um, a this category. As you can see, I'm getting quite close to it. And we've still got um, four more characters after Jayu. So I'm not going to get it. But I still might go underestimate. Knowing I haven't ran this category in like almost half a year. I'd actually consider game which is estimate to be pretty good for my stands. I mean, what can I say? There we go. And we can do that because it almost always uh, works against Druga. Alright, our next character is going to be Yoshimitsu. Thankfully, we're getting a very fast characters now. Oh, jeez, that's annoying. Okay, I'm actually... Uh, this is the spike. Oh, well. I tried. I'll try again. Hold on. Oh. Okay, well. Okay, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I tried. I failed you. I'm sorry. I'm going to go 10 8 instead. Because unfortunately that's the only kind of fast strat. Y Yoshimitsu does have a really fast strat. But against Shao Yu you can't. You have to do a backup strat. But uh, unfortunately it doesn't work. The backup strat doesn't work on the early stages. So that was really bad RNG getting Xiao Yu at the start. But now we have an insanely fast strat. That was, that was just really bad luck. That's all that was. As you can see now Yoshimitsu's Strat is insanely fast. You can just back turn and then you get instant death combo. Slightly messed that one up. No, no, you're not doing that on me. No. Okay, there we go. Slightly messed that one up a little bit. Whoop. Oh god. Almost got a bit of deja vu there. Oh, I tried to. <sighs> okay. Yeah, unfortunately, we were a fair bit behind schedule. That's entirely my, my fault. I'm sorry about that. And uh, World Record is just going now. There, there it is. Well, you don't need to start streaming yet, but just like, um, like get your game up and get ready. Just like start getting ready, yeah. Uh, get in the Discord channel and all that. Because I've only got three more characters after this. Final round. 
Jeez, okay. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was close. That was a good clutch moment there. Fortunately, because the move is quite slow and it's so high, it's very hard to like. Sometimes it's hard to hit it on the later stages. And you have to be very quick with your timing on the follow up attack. Alright, three characters left. Let's see if we can do it. We can definitely do it in eight minutes. No, not Xiao Yu. Great. Make sure to string to the beam channel as well, Vegito. Uh, Paul, master character. Paul P, it's Paul time. Best fire in the universe. Let's go, guys. Such a good strat. That's literally the strat. This works on pretty much every stage. Just, ah, oh, great. I got K out of it there, of course. It's very, very consistent. The Burning Fist is gorgeous. Pull hair, pull pee, guys. The, the greatest fire in the universe. Oh, God. There we go. Bam. Nice trade, actually. I will gladly take a trade. That's TAS speed, by the way, what Spike is saying. RTA wise, you can get sub 30 in game time, one round. It's damn near impossible to do, but you can do it. Alright, now we're going to start going for slightly different strats just because they start tech rolling. Or because they like they start hitting you out. So you do tech strats instead. This is an insanely good pull though, so far. But this is where it starts getting inconsistent for Paul. Yeah, yeah, as you can see. I'm just gonna go for Death Fist actually. There we go, nice. Oh, come on. Jeez, really? Come on, Ogre. Ah, oh, okay. Great, thanks. Yeah, I'm going to cut over my estimate again. To be fair, my estimate was a little... My estimate was a little tough to beat. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's impossible to beat my estimate now, but I mean... My estimates were very tough to beat. I did set them a little bit high. There we go, finally, okay. Jesus, right. Let's see if we can get True Ogre instantly. Nice. Well, at least we got a quick True Ogre. Right, now we're taking a slight detour to Tekken Ball mode. I'm going to pick King. Oh, I meant to pick Master Ball. That's alright. This will just take a little bit longer. The damage is a bit less. This is how we're not gone. We beat him in Tekken Ball. Yeah, that's going to take a couple more hits. Really? There we go. And that's how you're not gone. I lost like 10 seconds doing magic because I didn't pick Master Ball. But now we are not gone, and now we use Gone. It's pretty great. Gone's a very annoying character, but I mean, what can you do? Oh, that's not what I meant to do. I meant to do that, just one forward. Yeah, Gone is a very pesky character. He's got the, like, the Yoda thing from Soul Calibur 4 where Heiser literally just got over him. Which is like pretty hilarious.
Final round. But he has a lot of really good strings. The AI barely ever blocks his stuff. But we do block it a lot more in the later stages, but on the early stages, like when you never block his moose. Which is pretty nice. That's kind of guaranteed, it's not 100% guaranteed. If you want to see the far, alright, I'll try and get it in. Well, we got it in Kuma, but we have got gone with the wind as well. Hold on. There you go, there's a nice tech trap for you. I could have actually killed Julia then, but I did the wrong move. Oh my god, please. Hey. There you go, just for you. That's actually not even a bad tech trap, what that gone with a win. But it's just not as high damaging as that. There you go. I aim to please. Well, I mean, that's the ultimate one, but Don does have his own, I guess. went behind him for some reason. There we go. Alright, we, well we can get the sub 105 on uh, at least for gone if we're quick. And then we, we only have one character left after this. So I'm not massively behind, but I mean, uh, I guess it's my fault for not practicing. But in my defense, I've had a lot of university work to do and I still have got a lot of university work to do over the next few days. That's the only reason why I haven't been able to practice. Let's see if I can get this. Nah. It's a very uh, tough unblockable to, to hit. Yep, yeah, 105 dead for gone. If only that was the last character. But we have one more. But I think you guys won't mind because it's the, the fabulous Tiger Jackson. The reason why we save Tiger for the end is because we need to beat the game with 16 different characters in order to unlock Tiger. Even though he's just a cost of swap of Eddie, he does have he does have his own ending, so we do need to use him. But otherwise, he's exactly identical. Now, notice there is one character I didn't use in this run, and that's Doctor Bosconovich. The reason why is because he shares an ending with Yoshimitsu. And of course it's way, way faster to use Yoshimitsu than unlock Dr. Vasconovich by going through Tekken Force four times in a row. So I mean, you know. So yeah, we don't need stop to be in this run. He and o regular Ogre are the only characters we don't need to use. Oh, big strap. I like that. Very nice. A black spike Vegeta. Oh my god. Jesus. Oh, god. Okay. Nice. That was a good hit. So yeah, I'd say Spike Vegeta is a white tiger. I think that's a much better, much better way of describing it. <laughs> oh my god, that was amazing. Just spider walk towards a handstand walk even. Oh god.
Nice. Yeah, it kind of reminds me of that as well, now that you mention it. I haven't played that game in like over a decade. Okay, final part. We're almost at time now. Just for, just to finish the rodeo spin. Oh, I didn't even finish him. Right, big boot. There we go. And that is Tekken 3. Oh, I'm sorry I went a little bit over. That's entirely my fault. But, well, what can I say? Um, oh, yeah. And also my my game's a little bit... Uh, my disc is a little bit scratched. So whenever it gets to Tiger's ending, there's a small chance that the game will soft lock. Oh no, I just skipped his ending. <laughs> so, yeah, that's Tekken 3. Let's try and watch his ending. Just to, because it's the glorious. Oh, I've run ending. Nah, nah, whatever. Let's just leave it. Alright, that is it. Uh, keep keep watching. Oh, well, first of all, follow me if you enjoy Tekken. I'm going to be back later with Tekken 5. Unlock all endings later in the day. Uh, you can follow me. I'm going to be doing a Tekken speedrunning marathon the day before, or two days before Tekken 7 comes out, May 31st. That's about it. So thanks for watching. Up next is Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. If you guys enjoy that, definitely stick around for that. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Take care. Have a good one. Enjoy the rest of the marathon.